When I first started in the industry, I didn't look at it as a business. The hip hop found me. And in this culture, it's eat what you kill, hustle hard every day, nothing's given to you. So interning for, for Def Jam was like my, my bachelor's degree. You know, hip hop was in my DNA. Every tool from the street corner to the corner office, all these things embodied that journey. And I knew that 90% is showing up, showing up before everybody, being ready before everybody, and having a plan the night before on how I wanted to execute the next day. So fast forward, they hired me and then asked me to be president, and uh, it's been a blessing ever since. You know, we put out recorded music, we publish, we manage. We're, we're the number one independent label in the country. We are home for creatives where we find a value proposition that works for both of us. And I don't want to get myself in trouble, you know what I mean? Because if I talk about one, don't talk about the other one. But, you know, I congratulate Meg Thee Stallion on her, her, her three Grammys and Young Thug uh, and a whole YSL family and Gunna and Keed and bye, 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 don't get me in trouble. I love you all. I grew up listening to my mom and dad's eight tracks. It went from that to having the Sony cassette tape to the CD. And these were all uh, platform changes. What happened after the MP3 was we didn't have platform changes, we had consumption changes. And so people consumed in a different way. And then you have TikTok and YouTube and now Peloton coming on board and now this whole NFT thing. I just think it's ever evolving and if you don't put your gas on technology, you're gonna get left behind. So we have a full tank and we're ready to go. I don't think we do enough around mental health and wellness uh, as an entertainment industry. We wanted to make sure artists and our, our employees had mental health help. Two days a week, we're paying for mental health and, and my, hi, my name is Kevin Lyles and I go to therapy twice a week also. Part of my legacy is to change the C-suite of organizations around the world to look like the people it's serving. 50% of my executive team are females. 50% of my executive team are people of color. We don't sell a product or partner with people that we don't serve in a diverse way. And so I challenge all of you to have a more diverse company and it's up to me to hold you accountable. I thought success to me was making a lot of money at a very young age. But I think it's not about just money, it's about freedom. Freedom to do what I want, when I want, how I want, with whom I want. Success to me today means that I can lead, I can listen, I can learn, and I can love the people and what I do. That's success to me. Hey, thanks for watching Bloomberg Quick Take Now. Subscribe to our channel to see the biggest stories the moment they happen from around the world. And tune in to our 24-7 live stream for global news coverage, documentaries, interviews, deep dives, and shows on the stories that you care most about.